here we go again sometimes when we're going through the internet and we're just browsing around we come across a very useful utility that not only saves us frustration it also saves us a lot of time as well and one such program I stumbled across is a little program called everything now big word and a very bold claim everything is a lot but everything on a computer is obviously files from folders and everything in this respect is a brilliant little search engine or a search utility that you can use on your computer to find those files that for some reason or other just go astray so we'll have a look at first we'll go to the website and the website where we're going to is called voidtools.com there's not a whole lot on the site but it's very very the program is here and it's very informative as you can see from the uh, the list in front of us we've got everything for 32-bit everything for 64-bit uh, multilingual multilingual packages as well so you don't have to just speak English download the multilingual one if uh, English isn't your first language but anyway we, we download everything it's a very very quick download uh, it's only 462 kilobytes big so it's not going to exactly um, stuff your hard drive full of uh, rubbish is it so we'll download that save the file and it's done before I can even finish saying save the file so we'll go to our downloads folder there it is and there is everything we'll double click on everything and run it and it tells us that it's copyright for Mr David Carpenter and here grants permission free of charge any person to copy software associated documentation uh, but you're not allowed to change it so if there's any program programmers amongst you you're not allowed to do alterations to this just take it as is and David I'm sure will be very happy about that so we agree the uh, the license agreement um, choose a location to install it there are a few additional uh, options installation folder everything uh, it's in app data um, indexing etc if you understand that sort of stuff then make the changes if not just go with the defaults check for everything on startup start everything on system startup blah 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 multiple choices there for you to make install a desktop shortcut um, quick launch shortcut etc I have it on my taskbar so it's hiding in the background for when I need it rather than taking up more space on the desktop so we'll install that very quick install and it says do you want to make changes yet yeah, it's going to make a small change and as much as I think it's going to scan the hard drive during that time so here is everything and as you can see it starts e-websites background blah 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 this is where I've actually installed installed the version that I downloaded earlier okay so how do we use it we can open a new search window very simple file folder edit cut copy paste select all invert selection view status bar filters window size etc small medium large um, you can just multi uh, vary that anyway just by grabbing the uh, the one you want there we go it's um, auto fit bump and then we can make it as big or as small as we want by doing the usual stretch search you can match a case whole word match the path Di diacritics don't know what they are never heard the word before um, and so forth all the way down you can actually tell it to search for everything you can search for audio you can tell it to search for compressed folders zips and uh, the like cabs and stuff documents executables folders pictures and videos well I want to search for a, a picture of the cat that I did the other day it wasn't in my folder where I thought it would be and um, this can happen when you, you upload a picture from somewhere and it, the program you use I use PaintShop Pro uh, it memorizes your last location then you go into the program again PaintShop Pro and change the, the location of where you're searching and, and the original place is lost this has happened to me I had a photograph of uh, my cat and I remember calling it watch the birdie or something along those lines and it wasn't in my pictures it was just vanished so what I'm going to do is with everything I'm going to type in the uh, what I think it's called 
which was watch the birdie and with that before I finish typing this program has scanned the entire computer and there is a folder called watch the birdie in mp3s of all places um, how it got there I'm not sure but also if you look here it's got a JPEG link now this is the applications data roaming Microsoft Windows well let's take it out the full length recent documents so as far as um, the picture goes it's obviously that uh, Windows has recorded it as a, a recent document and it's uh, found a complete match for Watch the Birdie in mixed MP3 so let's have a look see the uh, picture in question that's the one I was after that's great so now I can save that as um, I'll, s I'll save it onto the desktop that's it great close it from there now you can see already that this has got watch the birdie on my desktop and it's also got the one in mp3 I don't want the one in the mp3 because that is um, that's the wrong place for it to be so I can delete that it says you sure you want to delete that yep so now we have watch the birdie on the desktop and the link to show it's a recent document and that's how quick this program can be it doesn't matter what you search for if you can send a send a random star dot um, jpg for example and before you finish typing it's found zipped jpegs it's found uh, whatever hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different jpegs that some of these I've never even seen I'm sure it's just that um, they come along with programs that I've installed and also you, you can also use this for uh, like we've got washed for JPEG that's in a program I have called Zara um, which is a picture editing program it's a 3D maker and obviously you can see there are multiple entries of that particular file which if I didn't want them I can get rid of them warning page JPEG warning sign bold JPEG warnings JPEG all the sorts of things monsters but these are all pictures that are on my computer somewhere as you can see I have uh, five drives five separate locations on my drive where I can store stuff uh, it's on C drive D E F and G and there are lit um, if you have a look at the slider bar at the side here I'm going through JPEGs and the slider bar is hard hardly moving I can pull that down now and it, it just becomes a blur of pictures these are all the JPEGs that are on my computer the nice thing is that everything has found it and it's found virtually everything I was looking for do the same again star dot BMP bitmap see how many of them we've got well they're just as bad loads and loads and loads of images that are stored on the hard drive somewhere and this program can help find it as I say again it's you can define the search bit better if you're looking for a picture and you're looking for cat for example you get yellow cat portrait as a PNG we can zoom through the, all these pictures that we have these are all pictures that are stored stored somewhere on my drive for some reason or other and of course when you've got just a small word like cat you have to watch that it's certificate e or certificate as you can see these are all somewhere on my drive even if you don't use it every day I mean it's only 400 kilobytes big it's not even a megabyte big and all this interaction with your drives has got to be helpful it's a very small program but it finds everything and coincidentally that's the name isn't it everything hope you've enjoyed this short video as usual if you uh, have enjoyed it you can subscribe to my channel which is Howard L Hall on YouTube and again I will put the uh, website address where we got the pit the program from ie voidtools.com and hopefully you'll download it and use it and of course as usual if you look onto the uh, void tools website here you will see the usual little program here called donate um, five pound ten pound however much you feel it's uh, it's going to be worth to you it's got to be worth something if it's if it's worth using click on donate and make somebody very happy like David for example hope you've enjoyed this anyway thank you for listening